That's a big boy. Hello everybody and welcome back to Last of Us 2. And last one we revealed to Dina we are immune to the infected spores. Almost and now we're hiding out in this theater. Oh, so what the hell's up with Dina? Why is she like I got you. dying? Here. You ain't pregnant, are you? a theater or a mansion? You gonna put the chairs back up? At least one. Okay. So we should probably talk. You want to tell me what's going on with you? What's going on with me? Ellie, I just saw you breathe spores. I told you. I'm immune. Okay. You're immune? Come on. How else would you be alive right now? I was bitten a long time ago. The fuck are you talking about? I was bitten and nothing happened. She told you the story already. A chemical burn. Was it actually a chemical burn or was it just the infection? Maria and Tommy and Joel are the only ones who know. Knew. Tommy and Maria still know. Now you know. I can't get you infected if that's what you're worried about. Do you know that for sure? You ever Have you ever, like, spit in somebody's mouth to see if they become infected? Can you say something? Really? I think I'm pregnant. Holy shit, I was right. Who got you knocked up? It wasn't Ellie. I told her where a condom. It's not yours. <laughs> what are we? So, what was that guy's name? Jesse. What are we supposed to do now? Nothing. I just need to rest for a second. Are you fucking kidding? Me? How long have you known? <sighs> it was late a few weeks ago. A few weeks? We could have. We could have still turned back. Well, I didn't know. Were we on the road by then? Sure, okay. I didn't want to be a burden. Well, you're a burden now, aren't you? I'm going to make sure this place is secured. just rest that's a lot to take in I have no idea how long we've been on the road for did you know while we were on the road or before we even left through here a locked door hmm. needs a key you can't just go around you keep something like that i mean you kept the immune thing to, from her for a long time september 4th me perez green and adams made it to the listen listening post two days ago so far so good wolf having 
I'm gonna say Wolf from now instead of W O L F. Wolf haven't come looking for here, come looking here yet. The city's lost to the Wolf. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Tors, Ward, and the others are probably dead. Camping here, grateful to be alive for now. September 6, can't sleep, burning up with a fever, no medicine, looked everywhere. We don't have anything except uh, uniforms on our backs. No contact from anyone on the radio either. How many of us made it out? September 7th, still feverish. Don't have any big cuts, so probably not an infection. The others are waiting until nightfall, then making a run to the hospital to get medicine for me and supplies for wherever we're going next. They're good guys. September 10th, shouldn't be taking this long. Not sold. Still, better be careful. Did we find Tor's body? Are we at the hospital? Obviously, these are the army guys. I think. Pretty sure. Did the guys out? The guys that went for the medicine run. Did they die in the hospital when we found them? I don't remember. Too many dead bodies. I'm finding. Who? Was they? Employees only. Well, I ain't an employee, and here I am. Is that a generator? What's this cable weight? Okay, well, what do I need it for? Am I gonna play a movie? Hmm. Hmm. Another note. September 13th. I don't think they're coming back. They're not coming back. Either they got ambushed or they ditched me. Not their fault I got sick. At least the fever's gone, but now I'm fucking starving. Can probably raid the buildings nearby for food. Then see if I can raise someone on the radio. September 15th. Constant rain means I at least won't die of thirst. Unfortunately, it keeps me keeps making the electricity conk out all the time. Makes it kind of hard to use a radio. Not like anyone's answering anyway. If a wolf can't ha can't have hit the Fedra listening post, no way. Need to keep trying. September sixteenth, dreamt they were laughing as I slowly bled out from a gut shot. Woke up an hour later, still shaking. Need a cigarette. You'd think there'd be a pack or two stashed somewhere in a fucking theater, but apparently not this one. September 19th, power went out again. Going ahead to the roof and see if I can get it back on. Am I going to find a body on the roof? Oh, it's a radio. Power's out. Hmm. Need to get the power going. Alright, well clearly this guy didn't get the power working, so... What's up with that? I'm also full. Where is this power generator at? Oh. Damn. Are you the man writing notes? You get fried? Guess you weren't much of an electrician. Now what did he do wrong? I I don't know. I'm not an electrician either. Oh, did he plug it in while the power was on? Probably kind of like what Ellie did when she got over the wall. It's fine. How funny would it have been if, uh... I know they're planning on making an Uncharted movie, maybe. Like, it was always a plan. If that came out before this game came out. Like, if you can watch the movie from the projector. Since it's Naughty Dog. Yeah, keys. What's this? Well, we can watch a movie now. So, what did I bother turning that on for? Did you know you were not going to use it? Who are you going to try and call? Ghostbusters? Ooh, a train card. Beyond. Real name? 
Imani Graves, brains 80, bronze 40, no affiliation. After a near-death experience that left her in a coma for two weeks, the seasoned detective found that she could cross from our world to the spur world, allowing her to communicate with her dead. Now known as Beyond, she splits her time between solving murder investigations and serve as a spiritual medium for a grieving family seeking closure. However, her, for her forays into the spirit world are clearly hastening her demise. She looks considerably older than her 35 years. How much longer does she have? She's a hero. Does she look older? Uh, she's got white hair. Oh, yeah. I would love to see Naughty Dog make a game with these hero cards. Just like a super random superhero game. Maybe that's what they're teasing towards. I doubt they want to make another Uncharted game since they just closed off Nate's journey. And this just came out. They probably want something new. Where's that going again? Oh, what's this? Cassandra. I wonder how many people die in this play. American Tragedy. There we go. No way she got it on the first one. All right. This game would have been a 10 out of 10 if she was stumbling around the keys. Wow. Oh, Joel, I love watching a movie in this place. Miss something back here? Uh, spooky. <sighs> no way. This is too comic. Something's bad's gonna happen. Did he ever teach you how to play? There was a four year gap, so maybe he got around to it. Oh, this is going to be another minigame. <sighs> All right, swipe. If you swipe up or down. I'm guessing you taught her to play. <laughs> Thanks, Predator. Get the fuck out of here. Three years earlier. Going back in time, huh? The storm sound like so. You're alive again. Oh, I suck. I guess Troy Baker did have to stick around after all. Man. Alright, come on. Does it? Yeah. Oh shit. I'm gonna start getting uh, where are we? You want to spoil your surprise now? Is it my birthday? No. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. And say no. All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it more walking, less talking? I mean, you can walk and talk. It's pretty easy. Mind your step. I got it. Push ah! rent. <laughs> Me and Joe have the same mentality. What if she just drowns? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. What if I drown? 
Oh, you're not gonna drown. Oh yeah, she could swim. Gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. Give it three years, Ellie. You're worse. Very good, Ellie can swim now. Better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta... the water with your whole arm. Blah blah blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Hey, come here. Take a look at this. See it? Just through there. Look. Yeah. Got a bow? Yeah. Can you some dinner? Looks like. <laughs> Bitch. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well. <sighs> Actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, I can tell on. by your voice. Uh. Should a cannonball. It's nice seeing this relationship again. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. How do you dive? Here we go. I know a lot of people quit the game after Joel's death because they were just too pissed. You should get playing. You'd see the relationship. Oh my god, he went through me. You would have seen more of their relationship, you fucking idiots. Oh, what's up? Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? They still have. I beg your pardon. Grades? Or a friend not grades. I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. Is it grades? No. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. School years, I guess. Pardon yeah. Your dicks. Point still stands. It's not just school all in all. School years. Still. Dive over here. Where are you taking me? I can't. Joel, I can't dive. I'm pressing. Now you tell me. Do I have no health? Oh, there we go. Is it a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. Go, Joel, go. You gonna help me up? I can't seem to get up by myself. Thank you. Don't push me back in. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Okay. Is it a dildo? Like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yeah. Yes. That's a, which one? It is a dinosaur. Holy shit, Joel. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. I told you, he didn't say no. The Tyrannosaurus, king of tyrant lizards. Dinosaur. That's mine now. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. <laughs> the way she said it. That's a big boy. For a second, I thought she was going to have the same journal. Just like new entries. I'm just going to quickly read this to myself. So she knew Dina. At least here. Isn't that her image? Or whatever. Alright. It's a birthday girl. Everyone's doing stuff for her birthday. Can I go up it? Oh, here we go. What are you doing? I'm king of that. Uh, He's got careful. a hole in him. I'm climbing a dinosaur. Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. You'll catch me. Look at me. I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Don't worry. I've played this game plenty of times. Leap of faith. Ah, but <laughs> I broke both my legs, Joel. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. 
Oh, that was awesome. Broke the water. I was gonna try and jump over. What are we doing here? What's this? Uh, it's a book. It's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. Uh, what? Okay, so she likes dinosaurs. What's this dinosaur, Ellie? Oh, look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. I knew that. Actually, it's a di Dionychus. Oh. I'm pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they. Call oh, is this the same booklet uh, that was at Joel's house? Hmm. What movie? Attack of the Dinosaurs? They don't really mention too many real world things in this game. Oh man. You wanna try it on? I do not. Huh. Your loss. It's mine now. Call me Sheriff. Like imagine if like the the uh, arcade machines was like Mortal Kombat. Like how awesome would that stuff be? What are these little guys? Were they in the same movie, Joel? Compsognathus. Whew, that's a big name for little guys. Yeah, they'd swarm you. Did you see that in a movie too? Actually, yeah, but a different one. See, there's a sequel. Wasn't as good. How many sequels were there, Joel? And did you ever see the reboot? <laughs> Was the world still alive then? Oh, a chair. Why can I interact with a chair? <clears throat> oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Joel, An old fossil. For you. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. It is kind of weird to see how fast Ellie matures in the next three years. Although I guess the death of Joel has a lot to do with it. What is this? Thing? Oh, is this like that penny press? No, it's stamp. Damn it. You ever? Ooh. You ever like put your penny in the machine and like it makes it like an oval and imprints it to like whatever theme of like the building you're at those are awesome Tiny. oh oh let's <laughs> keep oh, the hat look that is a hat on a dinosaur it's called a hatosaur huh somebody's gonna come here later and be like what the fuck weenie <laughs> why they nickname it weenie triceratops means three-horned face you would not want to be on the business end of that horn. Where's the third third horn? That the little bump right there? Triceratops. This is one I recognize. You didn't recognize a the a Velociraptor or T Rex? Joel, come on, man! You saw Jurassic Park. How is this? Like a fossil? A wall? Is this a Pokemon? You think Joel played Pokemon? <laughs> okay, I'll, what the fuck is this thing? Dime. The Dime Trodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator. For example, Joel. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? I'd say both of us are the apex. Ooh, a trading card. Is this gonna carry over? The Nighthawk. Oh, cool. He's got a dog. These uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. Then why weren't they in the first game? What was the little creature thing? I forget. 
Pokemon. <laughs> the Nighthawk, real name, Jerry Lavelle. Bronze 80, or Brains 80, Bronze 80, sighted champions. When a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in the skirmish between Spark Aerobots and the Society of Champions, his quick thinking ended up saving the day. With his arms and legs wounded in the battle, Dr. Stem created a set of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoes, allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds. Together with his loyal Greyhound Ezio, the small town kid known as Nighthawk scours the world for evildoers ready to dive back into action. Okay. Does the dog have the same powers? Did the dog lose him, his limbs too? Ooh, a mirror. You clean that pretty well. <laughs> Joel in the background, just like, what the fuck are you doing? Here we go. <laughs> Actually, some good animation there. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. No dialogue, troll. You're not embarrassed. What's this thing? Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientist. Well, they're dumb. I mean, look at the world. Scientists should have figured this shit out by now. They are dumb. What about these guys? What are you? Another hat. Sure, all these hats are everywhere. Oh, is that these two? I recognize them. I don't know what their names are. Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Oh. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaur. Don't be ridiculous, Joel. Excuse me, Mr. Professor. Dinosaurs couldn't fly. I to know a thing or two. From a movie. Keep going. Two movies. What's in here? Comment on the skulls. How thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like... Oh my god, how do you pronounce that? I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. I've got this. Catch it in the right light. Boom. Tommy. Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus. Nailed it. Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about. The Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. Yeah, didn't they make them bigger for the movies? There, right, I guess we're going upstairs. What? Small skull? Is that what we're still on about? Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Is this the vegetarian dinosaur? Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey! My hat! <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. Alright, Joel, here's what we gotta do. Go out, get a bunch of hats, come back. Every dinosaur had a sore. The extinction. Too many words. Oh, space. Is this is one of those space rooms. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um, we can head back. Uh, oh, shut up. Where's Pluto? The rockets. Joel, guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. Dadgum, bro, you are smart. 
Yes. Did they become superfly? What? No. They bit a kid and he turned into Spider Man. How's this? Oh, oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <laughs> Do the rap from Drake and Josh. I know you watch My that show, Joel. Educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? My Mercury, very famous mother Mars. Oh, okay, I get it. That's pretty cool. Keep going. Served Saturn. Oh, just Jupiter. Served Saturn, us, Uranus, pizza. Oh, wait, no. What was the new? The end? Neptune? Pluto. Pluto was a planet. Where is it on the map, Joel? Where is it? He took it away. It's a big globe. You know how many times we've been to the moon? That's the moon. Never mind. Twice. Six times. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna make it seven. If this game ends up on the moon, that's gonna be impressive. Oh, what's this one? Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. Well, wait, how would they... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. Hmm. Ellie, where are you learning all this stuff? You read books? Okay, what's next? You tell me. Saturn V. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the first person in space? Easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that Gagarin? I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so. Anyway, he flew to space on April 12th, 1961. Color me impressed. How many no books clue. have you read about this? Come on, Joel. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Hmm, I don't know. There's People a suit, there's suits over there. They had it easy. <laughs> Did they? Look at us today, Ellie. That's relatively speaking, sure. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's... Is it a buggy? <laughs> ballsy. I guess. Space artifacts. No, I get it. Is that a lightsaber? <laughs> These satellite parts? A big satellite. Can I get this? Can I go for a ride. Oh, fuck yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. And how do you steer? Those joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Just the real one. Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I don't say no. They probably made a few, right? Alright, what's in this room? It's a shuttle pod, whatever it's called. Whoa. <laughs> now hold on just a minute. You're going into space. You're gonna need a helmet. Oh, Right. What was I thinking? Ooh, can I pick? Ooh, yes I can. Mercury, Gemini, launch entry. Z2, can I take that one? Ugh. That doesn't have one. The S SPD-143. Apollo 11. Only choose from these three. Those two are kind of similar. Let's go with this one. <laughs> so cool. How does it smell in there? 
Like space. And dust. So, gunpowder. Alright, Joel. Wish me luck. After you. I'll be back in however long it takes to get to the moon time. And back. Watch your head. <laughs> what the heck? Joel, where's your helmet? Okay. Where's the self-destruct? Could you imagine just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. How's that? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. Do I have a player for it? Oh, I do. Close your eyes. It, it'll be worth it. Okay. Thirty seconds and counting. Ah. Close your eyes. <laughs> Who is shaking this thing? Well, Ellie clearly watched Spongebob when she was younger. She's got imagination. <laughs> Thanks, I only hit the mic. A lovely relationship that gets ruined in three years. Keep looking around, huh? Could you have skipped this entire scene? I guess you didn't have to come in here unless that other door is locked. Astronaut. Did she put that on her backpack? Oh, yep, there it is. Is it always been on her bag? I gotta check in the future. What is this now? Oh, journal. Ooh, you drew that pretty fast. One day. All right. Here. Seemed kind of like a weird way to push the door open. 
damn good you're trying to pull it. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Easy. <gasps> oh, God. Never give anyone else this much grief. Follow me, old man. Get down here. No. Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. How's this? I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Come on, you old fart. Geronimo! <laughs> nice. How'd you get over there? Is this gonna be like a nature exhibit? It's locked. Who would have thought? Hey, who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. I can pull you up. I got Ellie's strength. You would have thought she would have put her first leg in his hand. Oh, it's a gift shop. Ooh. Hey, Joel, I don't know if I can open hey, this for you. Bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll... I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. Why me? The dinosaurs around. Animals of North America. Oh, we've got the, the, the wolf, butterfly, the bear, spider, and that thing. Ooh. Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. Moose. You ain't gonna survive this battle. This guy needed a hug. What? Moose, was that you? It's a buffalo. Bison. Uh big horns. You guys got tiny horns. He's got the big horn. Oh, owls. Eagle. The four soldiers at the gate, the last one cried. What? Birds of the coast and wetlands. Wet, wet lands. Oh, shit. There's something in her. The woman we tortured choked on her own blood. Oh, God. I was having such a nice birthday. Not now. Come on, fucker. Oh no, you're giving me crafting supplies? And bottles? Okay. I got no supplies. There is no light. We wanted to end suffering. We wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed part of ourselves that we were kept saying it will be worth it. Now we've disbanded. We have nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents love bringing me here. It's one of my favorite, one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak, before all this cruelty and savage, savage, savagery, savagery. Those moments just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. Well, don't look at the mirror then, genius. Is that noise coming from back here? <sighs> Wolves. Big animals. <laughs> Why is there a pig in here? They're coming to life. It's not at the museum. Liars. Nelly? I'm in here. Yeah. 
hell was it? It's just some animal. Huh. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Have you guys uh, talked about the fireflies at all? Probably not. Well, seems like she had a nice birthday. For the most part. Seattle day two. God, that was just day one. How many days are there? You left Dina by the front door. Did you lock it? Oh, yeah, you put the chair in front. Oh, her tattoo. This is the first time we've actually seen it. I think so. Not sure exactly what it is, but I know there's images online you could find of it. How's that? Is that popcorn? There's none left. Keep practicing with the guitar. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this one here. We've made a lot of progress. We made it to this theater. Actually, we went like 20 feet and then we lived an old memory. We made no progress. We made it through a day. Be sure over down below. Leave a subscribe share. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.